Hey guys, this is Jenny from Lazy Gaming. This video, I want to talk about Battlefield 1 and Battlefield Hardline. And this is sort of just first episode of Battlefield Talks, week number one. It's just where I just talk about a bunch of random Battlefield stuff that went on during the week. And we got some news on Battlefield 1 about what maps will be in the early access edition for the Xbox One. So, those of you who don't know, you can play the game eight days early if you have EA access or Origin access on the Xbox One or PC. So that ends up being October 13th. And then if you also have the uh, early enlister edition, you can play three days early. So you can actually end up playing the game eight days early. But with the origin access, you only get access to, I believe, five of the maps and four of the game modes. So you get access to St. Quentin Scar, Amiens, Sinai Desert, Foul Forest, and Suez. And the modes are Conquest, Rush, Operations, and Domination. And you don't get access to TDM and you don't get access to War Pigeons. And then we also don't get access to Empire's Edge, which is the map that I'm the most hyped for, uh, Monte Grappa, Argon Forest, and Ballroom Blitz. So we don't get access to Ballroom Blitz, which looks to be like the close quarters locker of this game. We also don't get access to Empire's Edge, which has a ton of the really cool naval stuff. That might be because they don't want to give away a bunch of this stuff early, but it is kind of cool that it is only limited so that the people on Xbox and PC don't get a huge advantage over those on PlayStation 4 who actually can't get this. And plus you're paying money to get early access, so it should really just be a trial rather than the full game. But again, as I say that, you do get access to the full game on October 18th if you have the Early Enlister Deluxe Edition, so you get access to the full game at that point. Then you have to wait three days if you just have the regular edition until the 21st. So they did add a bunch of new maps to their website and game modes. I'm actually going to, I really want to talk about the War Pigeons game mode, as I talked about it um, when the game modes got leaked, um, but there wasn't a full description on the website like there is now, so I'm just going to read that out, and it says, During the Great War, man-made communication systems were still crude and unreliable, so dogs and pigeons were used extensively to carry messages. In the War Pigeons game mode, the opposing sides compete to use messenger pigeons to call in artillery barges on the enemy team. When the game starts, a pigeon coop with a messenger pigeon is placed somewhere on the map. Locate the pigeon before the enemy and carry it to a safe location out in the open. There you'll prepare a message and send it off calling for artillery support. Once a message is successfully sent, an artillery barrage will strike the enemy. So it seems like this almost like obliteration. You're trying to capture the pigeon, which is like a bomb, and bring it to a certain side of the map. Um, what I'm still most hyped for is the operations game mode. Um, I'm really sad that there isn't a cool game mode like Hotwire or Blood Money because I felt like Hardline honestly had the best game modes out of any Battlefield game recently with Heist, Blood Money, and Hotwire as all new game modes. I mean, Heist was kind of like Rush, but it was still a really new game, cool game mode that fit the game. That was just really awesome. Whereas Battlefield 1 really only has one game mode that is true to World War 1. And that's War Pigeons, whereas pretty much any other game mode could have fit into a different time period. And I mean, it's still nice that they did bring in one game mode, at least that does fit the World War 1 setting. But I really wish they would have brought a bit more. Now, as far as the weapons go, I'm pretty sure that there'll be a limited amount of weapons in this DLC as well. I mean, it's not going to be, not DLC, in the early access. It's not going to be the full game, so don't expect the full game, and that might factor into your decision when you're debating whether to pay the $5 or not. I for sure will be, and I mean, it's crazy to think that it comes out in only 18 days for the early access, and I'm for sure going to be streaming it and trying to get unlock guides for you guys and tips and stuff. And I'll be posting a lot more once Battlefield 1 comes out because there will be a lot more videos to post. And I'm going to try to do weekly streams also, which should be pretty awesome. But yeah, there's new maps, Ballroom Blitz. Um, it's join the final offensive along the Moose River in 1918. Here, fierce fighting in trench lines is quickly replaced by untouched beauty beyond hell. So this is basically just the massive French chateau that we've seen a little bit. Um, it obviously plays out in a courtyard and it also has inside the chateau. Um, I mean, I'm wondering how big the actual map's gonna be. And there are a bunch of maps also that have water on them, like Foul Forest has water, Suez has water, and Empire's Edge has water, um, which is just, Empire's Edge is, oh my gosh, I'm so hyped for the freaking battleship in this game. The battleship behemoth is just gonna be absolutely awesome. And I just can't wait to actually get my hands on that and play with it and be able to control it and honestly just see the naval combat in this game.
the amount of variety that they can have with the name of combat could just be absolutely awesome. Like imagine all the mode on one on Empire's Edge the other actually progress from the water onto the land. because I got like the deluxe edition, you got the ACWR, the CAR 556, and one more gun that I'm blanking on right now, but the ACWR was the best gun that you could start out with and rank up, and ever since then I just sort of liked it a lot. It's by far the best carbine in the game, and it's just super accurate, very consistent, really low recoil, and I really like playing with it just because I hadn't played Hardline in a while. It was just easy to get back into the game using this gun, and especially with this low amount of recoil, it's super easy to control at long range. And I went like 17 and 1 in like the second game I played with this weapon. And it's honestly just a great weapon. Tell me your guys go to gun is in Battlefield Hardline down below. I might stream Hardline next weekend if you want to see that. Tell me down below in the comments. It's sort of a farewell stream to Hardline because once Battlefield 1 comes out, I'd expect to see those player numbers drop down to about 10,000, which is pretty low. And for a game that was this good, I feel like it deserves a bit more credit than it honestly did get, how much variety it provided and sort of the, like, genre it was. Like, with a Cops and Criminals game, it fit it really well. Was it a perfect Battlefield game? No, but a Cops and Criminals game, it did that extremely well, in my opinion. It's just a awesome, awesome, and fun game, in my opinion. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like down below. If you like sort of this just Battlefield Talk series, or I just talk about some Battlefield stuff weekly, tell me down below in the comments. I just brought some Battlefield 1 news, some other stuff, opinions, and more. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. That's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.